I'm looking at the uh, S&P 400 index. That's the SMID cap index. That's the low lingo there, the small and the mid caps put together. Uh, I'm right. looking down 2% for the quarter, doing better than the broader market in all fairness. But the gains that we saw there, they've definitely trailed off. Why is now the right time to invest in these small and mid cap stocks? Well, I mean, the old adage, is we definitely want to be buying low. So it's generally more constructed to have conversations about buying stocks when they're down than when they're up. Although, ironically, people tend to want to talk about buying a lot more after things have gone up than when they've gone down. So I think it's a good time to have the conversation. As for why the trade can work, we know that, you know, being outside of the mega caps really has been a bit of a widow maker trade over the last couple of years. But there are some things that are turning in favor of the, the smaller stocks. Number one, if we look at the earnings estimates that are forecast for 2025, how is next year going to look versus this year's corporate profits? The small cap 600, the S&P small cap index, and the mid cap 400 that you referenced are expected to see significantly faster profit growth than the S&P 500, which is expected to come in in the low teens. We're looking at high teens to over 20 percent for mid and small caps. Now, obviously, we have to dodge the recession bullet, which is is obviously the subject of much debate right now. We think okay. that will happen. We have to remember that the, the recessionistas are a little bit like the boy who cried wolf. They've, they've told us okay. we're, we're going to have a recession several Alec? times in the last few years. Well, well, None has I got to jump in. The people calling for small caps to rally are also kind of starting to sound like the people that cried wolf because uh, from Tom Lee, everybody else has been saying since the beginning of this year that small caps are going to rally. We haven't quite seen it. We did see a strong July, but we haven't seen it fully. So yeah. I want to hit one of your other data points. Uh, it's talking about the leverage okay. when it comes to small and mid cap stocks. You gave us some great data, yeah. by the way. So um, according Thank to you. your data, uh, the interest coverage ratio for the S&P 500, almost 8 uh, eight percent. When it comes to the Russell 2000, it's down to about 2 percent. OK. You're saying that if we get these rate cuts that we're all expecting in September, that they have more upside due to this leverage. I want to ask you, now that we're starting to see speculation that we could see a 50 basis point rate cut, why aren't we starting to see this rally already? Because wouldn't that benefit these small and mid-cap stocks even more? Yeah. Those are the interest covered ratios. So basically, the big companies can cover their interest expenses eight times with their EBITDA, with their earnings. The small cap companies can only cover their interest expense two times over. So they're definitely, they benefit more when rates go down. The reason the trade's not working, no equity trades are working right now, is because of this perceived recession risk. You mentioned JP Morgan going to 35% chance of a recession this year. Goldman just uh, nudged up to 25%. We don't think that's going to happen, we, and neither do they. They're well under 50%. But as that becomes clearer, you'll start to see cyclical trades like mid and small cap start to work better. You'll see the overall stock market work better, but okay. you'll definitely see um, a lot of that come good as people have more confidence in the uh, forward earnings estimates. Right now, uh, forward earnings visibility is being depressed by these recession concerns.